The strength of most girls in Boma mesmerizes me. As much as they go through challenges, they struggle, they go through pain, you find that most of them still emerge victorious. But there are some things that really kill some visions. There are some things that makes a girl to stop dreaming. Like for instance, the early marriage in Boma. It's been rampant since 2018. Find that a young girl who has a dream, who has ambitions, who wants to pursue something in life. She studies so much. She she puts more effort in her schoolwork because she has a dream of uh, changing her family. She has a dream of changing her life. She has a dream of changing Boma in general. But then you find that the same girl, the parents have already uh, taken dowry from the future husband. So a girl at the age of five, she's going to school but dowry has already been paid for. The time this same girl reaches around 12 years, the husband snatches her away and then her school life ends from there. So you find that such a girl with a dream, a girl that uh, has been doing something to better her life. When that gets denied, the girl feels demoralized. And then you find that most of them end up committing suicide. And some who persevere, you can see them going through hell. Even though like, they didn't take the suicidal path, it's not the right path. But then you feel the life they are going through, how they live, how frustrated they are. It, it's, it really pains. As a teacher, you feel discouraged. Because we train them to be better, we train them to have a different life from the life they have in Boma right now. We train them to be future women in Boma that can bring life in Boma, that can make Boma great and better. But when that girl gets uh, gets taken away by her husband, you know, even as a teacher you feel discouraged. And then you find that most of the girls that have been taken, they are girls with potentials. They are children that, uh, if given that chance, they can really do better. Like one of our students in 2019, early 2019, committed suicide due to that. She was taken, but she had dreams, she had plans. Actually, she was doing very well in class. By the time the husband took her, she couldn't take it in, and she ended up committing suicide. There's another case of a class 7 girl, who with all the challenges, with all the pressure, she was the only girl in class 7. Most of the girls had been taken away, some had withdrawn. Because the girls, they don't see, like, why should I be in school? There's no motivation. Why should I be in school? Yet, even if I go to school, I'll still be married. Like, this this life that you know it will happen, whether you like it or not. So the girls, they, most of them stay at home. They don't come to school because they feel like, whether I go to school or not, I'll still be married. And it's not like she has a choice. It's not someone she loves. The parents have planned for it, and she loved to go. So this one, the family, the, pa the mother was very strict. At least she tried, she made the effort of taking her daughter to school. But because of the pressure from the society, the pressure that the culture has put uh, for every girl and every mother, when she was going to join class eight, she was also taken away. And that was very painful to us as teachers. Like, it's challenging, something needs to be done. Mothers need to be empowered in Boma. Leaders need to be empowered so they can they can get to know the importance of a girl child and why it is important to educate a girl. At least they should be able to give one girl a chance and see the importance of school so that they can see the change that comes with educating a girl here in Boma. So like we need we need some trainings, we need some empowerment, we need some education for the mothers so that these girls can be given a chance. They have the potential. They have the passion. They have the talent. That if someone pushes it, if someone talks to the society, if the society gets to know the importance of school, then the girls can also get a chance to be better and to do better.